Hello, Resurrection. It's March the 15th. Beware the Ides of March. It's also uh, the week headed into what we call the Feast of Mid-Lent, which is just the Sunday, which is smack in the middle of the season of, of Lent. I need to tell you a funny story. Last week, Thursday or Friday, we noticed uh, it, when we were uh, getting ready for evening prayer that the bell tower has quit working. Now, we don't have real bells. We just have loudspeakers, and we have a system that controls that, and you can hear the bells inside the church kind of faintly, which is, which is you know, how a real bell would work. And then you can hear them outside, like, you know, they wake up the whole neighborhood. Well, the outside bells are not working anymore. We're not getting any sound from the, the bell tower. That's a recent development. They've been working fine for years and years. Every now and then, the system is starting to get old and it's starting to get finicky. And we'll have to pet it and baby it around every now and then. We'll have to restart it or, or talk sweetly to it or something like that. Uh, but it, it has completely quit working outside. So Elizabeth Nash and I were talking uh, early this week and we said, I guess we need to figure out, you know, if that bell company is still even in existence and we need to be looking uh, into that and say, you know, can we fix them? Do we need a new system? It's, it's pretty old. And this morning, I mean, we haven't heard from these people in 25 years. This morning, we get an email from the company that installed our bells and said, hey, we installed your system about 25 years ago. We haven't updated it or, or anything since. Is there anything you need with your bells? I am not making that up. Just, we, I mean, we haven't heard from them in 25 years. We mentioned their name on Monday. Today is Wednesday. We get an email from them saying, hi. Um, uh, very strange thing. I have not searched for them online or anything. I have no idea uh, how that happened. And it is just things like that do happen, right? They happen all the time. It is funny how sometimes you just get exactly what you need when you need it. Sometimes I see the hand of God in that. And sometimes I see uh, those things as coincidence. I don't know. There are some people who say that there's no such thing as coincidence. They might be right about that. Uh, but today was one of those days with the email. I feel the same way about the Feast of Mid-Lent. It always comes around right when you need it, especially if you're doing Lent the right way. If you're serious about it, and remember, we said we were going to we were gonna go whole hog this year. We were going to be serious about Lent, and so many of you have done that. Morning and evening prayer are going gangbusters in the church. Boy, those are beautiful services, and I had forgotten the... The, the benefit of that rhythmic um, praying uh, of, the, of the offices in the morning and in the evening, and what that rhythmic uh, breath-like prayer life does for you. There's just something at the end of the day about stopping, marking the end of your workday, walking into the church, sitting down, and thanking God for the blessings of the day, and uh, and for for the rest that is coming and for a job well done you know uh you know a lot of you all work really really hard and evening prayer is is something that allows you to say you know what i did work hard today i i can rest knowing that i've done a good job and that god has been with me and pray for him to watch over me and my family uh, as we rest and get ready to do it again tomorrow and, and greet him with our prayers uh, with the rising of the of the sun. It's a beautiful thing, and I had forgotten how meaningful that rhythmic praying is. You know, I told you about Bishop Parsons years ago in a seminary, seminary professor, who said, who said, I've never yet seen a priest who got himself in trouble who was still praying morning and evening prayer every day. And Chad Jones needs to get himself together. And so I have been praying morning and evening prayer every day. Uh, if I'm not able to, to be at church to do that, I do that at home. Uh, and uh, and oh my goodness, it's it's good for me. And it's good for you too. You should do that. You really should. It's, it's one of the hallmarks of being an Anglican. One of those things that we are proud of. One of those gifts that we gave uh, to the world. And as the sun rises and sets all across the planet, uh, Anglicans the world over are singing praises to God as the sun rises and singing praises to God as the sun sets. And as the, as the world revolves, there's never a time when the Anglican church isn't praising God. And so do that with us. We need your help uh, in doing that. And it is so good for you. And now if we've done a good job 
with our Lent, if we've taken that seriously like we said, this Sunday is the time to, one, ask yourself, how you doing? How are we doing? Are we doing a good job? Are we doing the things that we promised we would do? Are we praying? Are we reading scriptures? Are we giving alms to our, to our brothers and sisters? Are we coming to church? Are we doing all of those things that we said we would do? Are we fasting? Are we praying? Uh, and then also on Sunday is when the church gives you a little wink, right? Gives you a little wink and says, okay, take a breath today for just a few hours. Take a breath, take a breather, and then tomorrow morning on Monday, we will get right back to it, right, right back into that serious time of, of Lent. And I think that's a good idea. Mid-Lent comes along just when you need it. It's funny how God always sends us what we need and who we need uh, when we need it. Uh, and so that's just one more thing we will thank him for. Now, tonight, I understand that the youth group is not, it's spring break, so I understand that the youth group is not meeting tonight. Uh, almost everybody is out of is out of town. We will continue uh, on with children's programs. Whatever children are in town, come on, we'll do those. I think I'm right, Miss Elizabeth. I am, and uh, we will we will go ahead we'll, with dinner. We'll have dinner at six o'clock, and then adult Bible study, or really Bible study for anybody who wants to come, uh, around six thirty or six forty-five. So we'll have that tonight, and then I will see you on Sunday for the feast of Mid Lent. I love you. I'll see you then.